The STEM Teachers 2020 Virtual Expo brought together STEM teachers from all over the country. As STEM teachers organizations, you're the experts um, and we're here just to create space for you to share with peers. Well, I am uh, Tiffany Taylor. I'm the president of STEM Teachers NWA. So we were established actually in the fall of 2018. I mean, and that's how our whole organization came into being. At this point, STEM Teachers Phoenix is in year five. We discussed culture and STEM. Asia are composed of hundreds of different cultures. So we can never generalize something. We discussed social justice and STEM. Helping teachers to work together to see how to help students have an empowered voice because I think that formal education disempowers students. So the fact that you're enabling your students to also be able to voice what they feel strongly about and they've chosen it allows them to feel like you are hearing them. And yes, we also discussed science. So one question that I sometimes uh, ask kids is why do we breathe oxygen? Our, our, our setup uh, where, we, where we generate this atomic beam and do the cooling. So you see here in the back, like a steel chamber where all this happens and a lot of optics. Um, and then when everything is set up the right way, we can here have a close look, zoom into here this viewport. That's a glass viewport uh, where we can look inside the chamber. And if, if, if we do that well and things are working, we can here see a, a a spot of, you know, a little cloud of, of sodium atoms. And turns out this is a cloud, a gas puff of 10 billion sodium atoms that with this laser cooling technique are cooled to a thousands of a degree Fahrenheit above absolute zero. Electrons can be both waves and particles. So this is not only a great exercise in research, but it's also a great exercise in science communication. It was a weekend of learning, reflection, and lots of fun. What are the categories of discovery that folks have been making over the past couple of days? How we need to look at our curriculum and create changes within the curriculum so that um, it can be more inclusive. I was surprised by how much fun it is to play games on Zoom. 